Now the last uh, section of this chapter which is identities. You know an equation. What is an equation? You know. Any two expressions connected by an equality sign is an equation. Any two expressions connected by an equal sign, an equality sign is an equation. For example, consider x plus y is equal to 10. This is an equation. Left side an expression, polynomial. Right side a constant, polynomial, constant. So this is an expression connected with this equality sign. Equal sign. Then 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. It is an equation. It is an equation. x squared plus 1 is equal to x minus 10. It is an equation. x squared plus y squared equal to a squared. Again, an equation. In this, there are three variables, x, y, 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 three variables. x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to, say, k squared. It's an equation. 2x squared plus y squared plus 3xy is equal to 15. It's an equation. Another equation. x plus y into x minus y is equal to x squared minus y squared. Another equation. This a plus 1 into a plus 2 is equal to a squared plus 3a plus 2. Another equation. So such are equations. Any number of equations in general. But in these equations, some equations are such that it is true for all values of the variables in the equation. It is for any values of the variables in the equation, the equation is true. But some equations are such that uh, for all values the equation need not be true but for some values of the variables the equation true and for some other values it is not so, not true. All are equations. So these two categories of equations are there. For example, consider the equation x plus y equal to 10. If we take this x equal to 5 and uh, y equal to 5, the equation is true. 5 plus y, x plus y is 5 plus y, which is equal to 10, it is true. If we take this x is equal to 4 and uh, y equal to 6, true, it is true. x equal to 1 and y equal to 9, it is true. But if we take this x equal to 6 and y equal to 6, the equation is not true. x equal to 0 and y equal to 11, the equation is not true. So, for some values, the equation is true, for some others, the equation is not true. There can be infinitely many such pairs of values. For infinitely many values of x and y, equation true. For infinitely many values of x and y, equation not true. It can happen so. But some equations are such that uh, the equation is true for all values of the variables involved. For example, consider this equation. 
x plus y into x minus y is equal to x squared minus y squared. Consider this. Suppose we take this x equal to 2 and uh, y equal to 1. y equal to 1. Then x plus y is equal to 2 plus 1 which is 3 into x minus y is equal to 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 which is equal to 3 into 1. And we know which is 3. And right side x squared is equal to 2 squared which is 4 minus y squared which is 1 minus 1 which is equal to 3. So this left side equal to right side and therefore the equation is true for this values. Again consider this x equal to 5 and y equal to say 3. Then x plus y is equal to 8 and x minus y is equal to 2. So 8 into 2, 16 left side. Then x squared minus y squared. So x squared is equal to 25 and y squared is equal to this 9, 3 squared 9 which is equal to 16. Equation true. Similarly, we can see that for any set of values for x and y, choose any, positive or negative, any. We can see that left side equal to right side, that is the equation is true. The equation is true. Such equations are called identities. Such equations are called identities. So this is an identity. This is not an identity. X plus y equal to 10, not an identity. This is an identity. Similarly, consider this. A plus 1 into A plus 2 is equal to A squared plus 3A plus 2. So for this, here there is only one variable A. So suppose this A is equal to 1. This A plus 1 is equal to 2. A plus 2 is equal to 3, which is equal to 6. Then, right side a squared is equal to 1, plus 3a is equal to 3, plus 2 which is equal to 6. So true for a equal to 1. Take a is equal to 3, a is equal to 3. Then a plus 1 is equal to 4, into a plus 2 is equal to 5 which is equal to 20. And right side, this a squared is equal to 9, plus 3a is equal to 9, plus 2 which is equal to 20. So true for a equal to 3. Similarly, we can see that uh, the equation is true for all values of this A. Hence, this is an identity. So such equations are called identities. Identities. So that is the definition of an identity, that is an equation which is true for all values of the variables involved is called an identity. Okay? Let's see.